Welcome to the realm of the most diverse group of animals on Earth, insects. These tiny creatures, often unseen or overlooked, are vital parts of the ecosystem, and there's so much more to them than meets the eye. Let's delve into their fascinating world. Great diversity. Insects, with over a million described species, make up more than half of all known living organisms. Insects inhabit a diverse array of environments on Earth, from scorching deserts to dense rainforests and teeming urban landscapes, highlighting their remarkable ecological adaptability. Each species of insect is distinct, with its unique set of characteristics and adaptations which allows them to survive and thrive in various environments. External anatomy. Insects are part of a larger group of invertebrates known as arthropods, which also include spiders, crustaceans, and centipedes. What makes insects unique among arthropods is their body structure. An insect's body is divided into three main parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. The head is where the insect's sensory organs and mouth parts are located. Insects see, smell, taste, and sense their world through various parts on their head. The thorax is the powerhouse of the insect, where the wings and legs attach. Most insects have three pairs of legs, for a total of six, and typically one or two pairs of wings. The abdomen is the largest part of the insect's body and contains most of the insect's vital organs, including those for digestion and reproduction. Eyes. Insects have two main types of eyes, compound eyes and simple eyes. Compound eyes are what most people think of when they imagine insect eyes. These eyes are composed of many tiny lenses, called ometidia, each providing a small piece of the insect's visual field. This structure enables insects to detect movement very well. Simple eyes, or ocelli, are usually found in groups of one to three on an insect's forehead. These eyes can't form a clear image like the compound eyes can, but they're good at detecting light and dark, which helps the insect understand if it's day or night. Antennae. One of the most significant parts of an insect's body is its antennae. These are sensory organs used for smelling, tasting, and touch. They can come in a variety of shapes and sizes, from short and stubby to long and thin, depending on the species and its specific needs. Wings. Not all insects have wings, but those that do can have one or two pairs. The structure and function of these wings can vary greatly. Some insects, like beetles, have hard wing covers that protect their delicate flight wings, while butterflies and moths have large, often colorful wings covered in tiny scales. The ability to fly has played a significant role in the success and diversity of insects. Life cycles. Insects undergo a process called metamorphosis as they grow from babies into adults. There are two primary types of metamorphosis, complete and incomplete. Complete metamorphosis is the transformation process in which the insect goes through four distinct stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Butterflies and beetles are examples of insects that undergo complete metamorphosis. Incomplete metamorphosis involves three stages, 
egg, nymph, and adult. In this process, the nymph usually looks like a small adult and gradually grows into its final form, shedding its skin as it grows. Grasshoppers and cockroaches follow this life cycle. Roles in ecosystems. Insects play an indispensable role in our ecosystems. They are pollinators, decomposers, and a significant source of food for many other animals. Pollinators. Many plants depend on insects for pollination. Insects, especially bees, butterflies, and beetles, move pollen from the male parts of a flower to the female parts, helping the plants reproduce. Decomposers and detritivores. Insects, like some beetles and flies, are key decomposers in ecosystems. They help break down and recycle organic material such as dead plants and animals, returning nutrients to the soil. Detritivores, such as dung beetles and termites, are organisms that feed on detritus, which is dead organic material. Detritus typically includes fallen leaves, dead trees, feces, and other decaying organic matter. By consuming this material, detritivores contribute to decomposition and the recycling of nutrients within an ecosystem. Food sources for other organisms. Insects form a significant part of the diet for many other animals, including birds, bats, reptiles, amphibians, and other insects. Their role in the food chain is crucial for maintaining biodiversity and ecosystem balance. So insects may be small in size, but their impact on our world is enormous. They are an incredibly diverse group of creatures, each with its unique adaptations, life cycle, and role in its ecosystem. Understanding and appreciating insects is a crucial part of understanding the larger world around us. Let's continue to explore, learn, and marvel at these small but mighty creatures. Worksheets relating to this short video can be downloaded by creating a free account at ngscience.com. Don't forget to subscribe to the NG Science YouTube channel to never miss a video.